Authors often work as contributors for larger companies and publications. The author of an original work holds the copyright for their work, but the companies can also secure copyright protection for their publications. The 2001 case of New York Times Company v. Tassini is the headline-worthy story of how this copyright issue moved into the digital age. The New York Times Company, Newsday, and Time Incorporated hired freelance authors to write articles. These print publishers placed the articles in their newspapers and magazines, such as the New York Times, Newsday, and Sports Illustrated. The print publishers registered collective work copyrights in each edition of their publications. The print publishers had agreements with LexisNexis that authorized LexisNexis to code the articles from each periodical published into a text-only format and place the files on a computerized database called Nexus. Nexus contained hundreds of periodicals covering many years stored in a searchable database in which Nexus subscribers could read, print, and download articles. Each search result would appear as an isolated story without any link to the rest of the newspaper or magazine it was originally published in. The print publishers didn't get consent from any of the freelance authors to place their articles in an electronic database. The New York Times Company also had a licensing agreement with another company that reproduced only Times materials on two CD-ROM products. One product was essentially the same as Nexus but sold on a disc. The other product functioned similarly to the first but included facsimiles of the articles as they appeared in print instead of text-only files. Six freelance authors filed a copyright infringement action against the print publishers for giving the articles written by the freelancers to the electronic publishers. The print and electronic publishers cited the reproduction and distribution privilege given to collective work copyright owners. The district court granted summary judgment for the publishers. The authors appealed. The Second Circuit reversed and granted summary judgment for the authors. The United States Supreme Court granted certiorari.